Thank you, Madam Speaker. While there are certainly many important issues to celebrate and recognize during the month of May, one that hits definitely home to me is that May is when our nation celebrates Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. I stand with honor and pride to celebrate my district, my community, and my home, the beautiful island of Guam. Guam, an island community, proudly displaying an American flag in the midst of the Pacific region. Guam is home to a diverse and vibrant community. We are a melting pot consisting of Chamorros, Filipino Americans, Asian Americans, Micronesians, and so many other beautiful ethnicities. In Guam, we embrace the spirit of enafamalic, which is to make good, or in a larger scheme of things, to restore harmony or order. We are an island of respect, from taking care of our elders to ensuring our neighbors are okay. We are also a welcoming community as service members assigned to Guam can proudly share their stories of being invited to village fiestas. This month, we honor and reflect on our island's unique history, culture, diversity, and contributions to our nation's history and development. We are an island of patriots and proud Americans, many who served in the U.S. Armed Forces during wars and conflicts. Our per capita basis, we have among the highest number of enlistments in the nation. Guam is also proud to be home to veterans, once again, among the highest per capita. Proud veterans who hope to be provided the same care as their brothers and sisters receive on the mainland. Not to mention that the island remains one of the Pacific's most strategic assets, holding key military installations and also a vital component of the Indo-PACOM theater. As a Pacific Islander, I am proud to be continuing a tradition of holding a seat in these sacred halls of democracy where I can proudly stand and represent my community, a tradition which started with the late Congressman Antonio Wampat and continued through the works of the late Congressman and General Ben Bloss. Congressman Robert Underwood, Congresswoman Madeline Berdallo, and my predecessor, Congressman Michael San Nicolas. Each did their job ensuring that Pacific Islanders were represented with honor and dignity. As we certainly have many discussions over, the term, over this term to discuss the inequities of our community faces as American citizens, today I wanted to rejoice in the celebration that I represent Pacific Islanders who are proud, welcoming, and who always display the holiday spirit. I want to reflect on the hardworking Islanders who have contributed to the growth of Guam and our region from levels of commerce, education, farming, healthcare, public service, engineering, and so much more. Many of whom have relocated throughout the nation to become integral contributors of so many districts represented by many members of Congress. Asian America and Pacific Island Heritage Month reminds us of the immense contributions to the nation's history and culture while encouraging us to learn more about their extraordinary and diverse stories. Stories I look forward to sharing with many colleagues throughout this term. Happy Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield back.